Ah, uh, the Jim and Terry show. I was just telling Jim, you can't walk from the show. The pay's too good. Yeah. Where are you going to go with that? All right, breaks? you're right, you're right. All I right, can't free leave. breakfast, free lunch. Yeah. What, what else do you want? Gas money. The Jim and Terry show, <laughs> talking about things that we find interesting. As two guys who are retired, a lot of time on our hands, and an empty mug of coffee. So we're going to just see where this one goes. And we were going to talk about, I think I sent you an article on uh, Jimmy Kimmel yeah, and Ro- Aaron Rodgers. Yes, you did. And, and I think I titled it, If You Find a Disagreement Between a Late Night Stand-Up Comic and an uh, Athlete, Go With the Late Night Comic. They're and quicker. <laughs> they were quicker. Yeah, so the, the whole context, just to paint it into a perspective, was Aaron Rodgers talking, hinting, Maybe not even hinting, more directly stating that Jimmy Kimmel is likely on the Jeffrey Epstein list on the fly, on the plane called, strange name for a plane if you look it up, it has significance in sexual perversion and deviance, Lolita. Lolita. Who's on Lolita? Who were the people? Well, one we know is Donald Trump, for sure. We also know... um, Prince William? Defender, a very famous lawyer who defended Trump in one of the impeachments, Alan Dershowitz, is likely, I'm pretty sure he is, but I can't say it for sure until I see the list. The list is supposed to come out. Clinton, Trump, and the prince. What prince? Andrew, Andrew, I believe. So we know those ones or we suspect those ones? Well, Andrew paid to shut the woman down. Except that it's going to come out, so it doesn't matter what he paid. We're going to know. So we won't well, know that. what we see the list. We we got to remember the list is just a list of his associates or people who know him and and, and have met I thought with him. The list was the list of people who were on the plane bus. No, they're no, not necessarily. Uh, but it's like one of the people said on the news this morning is, I mean, if you're if you're a mover and shaker and you know the people you're dealing with, I mean Clinton doesn't just run with anybody you must run. You, you know who you're running with. Yep. So I think you're guilty a bit there with us by association. So you're either turning a blind eye or you're participating. Okay. So the I mean, l- if he's if, if 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 Epstein's flying in and says to I'm a gonna, private I'm, island, I'm going to call up Clinton and we're going to go to a casino tonight. You're you're. Buds. And so you must be knowing a little bit what's going on in this paradise. If I'm not mistaken, this place, Epstein's place in New York, was the place of destination. It was the place where the stuff went down. It was the place where the girls were taken. And a place as well in Florida, if I'm not mistaken. No, there was a and an island, Caribbean island. And a farm. I'm That's right. Say there was a place in Florida, too. Yes. The also a farm in Arizona or Texas. I'm not Dude, sure God where. This guy was really, really wheeling and dealing in young girls. Uh, yes, so that yeah. takes us to sex trafficking. And, Absolutely sex trafficking. And so when we say the list, we're talking about people who may have been part, and I don't know whether you can prove. Well, Clinton's been on the plane. Clinton, we know, has been on the plane, but I, we also know that some of these people have paid for services. Yeah. And that puts it in the realm of criminal. Or received services. Yes, either way. It's Maybe for Epstein, Epstein being their accountant. I don't He had something to do with investments, didn't yes. he? Yes, well, that's how they think he got his wealth, but it's yeah. unclear to me. So, Well, maybe he's selling women right. to Arabs or something. I so the know. list is coming out, the who's who, and we know somebody who's not on the list. And this yeah. becomes an election issue for 2024. Biden is not on the list. No. But Trump is on the list. Yes. Well, Trump's got. There's pictures of him hanging out. With I him. know, so I know. So, again. but you should you should wrap up the Jimmy Kimmel thing. Jimmy Kimmel oh, is okay. not on the list, right? And he threatens to sue Aaron Rodgers. Is where that one was left, mm. saying if you you do this, we'll see you in court, and you can prove your claim. And that's sort of where I'm saying anything should end up. You prove it. It can't, and, or if you can't, don't say it because that's slander, and that can be a crime as well. Yeah, and so Jimmy Kimmel 
simply said, I'm not on the list. I don't know the man. I haven't yep. hung out with the man. Yep. And so, uh, so stop shut saying up. it. So yeah, shut up. Shut up. Well, they don't like each other, these two, yep. you know, apparently. Now, the context for them not liking each other goes back to COVID and goes back to Aaron Rodgers, quarterback for Green Bay, refusing to be vaccinated. Remember those the yep. years yep. of vaccination? Yep. Refusing to vaccinate in order to travel with the team. I think he could play home games, but he couldn't travel with the team. That's mm-hmm. the way most American teams did it. If you wanted to travel, you had to have the vaccination. If you didn't travel, you could play home games. And Kimmel is a strong proponent uh, and advocate for vaccines, especially the COVID vaccines, but of all vaccines. Mm-hmm. So there we go. That's the context. And it erupts now saying, yeah, but. And the yeah, but yeah, is yeah. who's on Epstein's list which is supposed to be released, and I haven't seen anything yet. Yeah, and I think it would be interesting. I wouldn't want to be on that list no matter what, even if it's no. just I was just a friend or uh, even an acquaintance. I wouldn't want to be on that list. But I have to point out not not everybody on that list went and visited the island. No. Or was on Or the ranch plane. or the farm or yeah, that, yeah, whatever. But Clinton was on the plane. Yes. So he now, Lola, you call that? Lolita. Lolita. Uh, and uh, for our audience that don't know, he basically trafficked trafficked in young girls, and his girlfriend uh, just sell Max actually s- set them up. You just know, Jelaine, and, Jelaine Maxwell, I think yeah. is her name. And I don't she's think doing he, time. I don't think he would have killed himself if he was innocent. Yeah, so we got that speculation, and it's unresolved. There's an unfortunate glitch in the cameras at the very time. And here's another tidbit of information. The last person we know who visited him that we know of an hour before his demise was Bill Barr. Really? The AG. Really? Now, does that not add some suspicion? Why is he visiting him? There's Why a lot did he of go questions. visit him? I don't know. I feel Official like, reasons? I feel like we should do a Joe Rogan experience podcast yeah. about this stuff. Why? Why was he there? <laughs> I'd like to know. Uh, I don't know. I don't even know where we're going beyond that allegation, except that there are some high-profile people. But well, we can go down this rabbit hole. Oh, you got one, an election rabbit hole? Or well, what? yeah, there's, a, there's just a lot of people who... Due to their wealth and position in life, don't seem to have much moral compass, and 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 that's amazing to me. You know what I mean? Uh, like, is it a variation on the theme of absolute power corrupts absolutely? So absolute wealth corrupts absolutely. Well, you take Andrew. I think his mom, Queen Elizabeth, was was did her very best as as the monarch. You know what I mean? This much I would lay my life on wouldn't have fooled around on Prince Philip or anything else. And yet you got a son who's going to a Caribbean island and being presented with this young blonde girl and uh, saying to the girl, you give him anything he wants. Uh, Where's the morality in in Mm. all of this world? Especially with someone like him who could probably have hired a prostitute anyways without... Getting into any trouble. Right. It could have been all protected under Secret Service. Yeah, and, and maybe he did. I don't know. But they, they were saying with Clinton, one of the lines, one of the testifying girls said that Clinton liked real young girls. But then so But that's just Trump. hearsay. That's Trump just said hearsay. That. Well, Trump, yeah, well, yeah, I mean, he would. Trump said of Epstein that he likes them really young, as do yeah, yeah. I. Is as what do I, I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's that going on. So that's kind of interesting to me. The list is still not. Revealed? Is, I'm waiting for this. And I thought the list was who was on the plane. But it's, you're saying it's a list of anybody who's in the contact. I don't think Epstein. it's everybody on the plane, but maybe I'm wrong with that. Uh, maybe I'm wrong with that because Clinton was on the plane, but I don't know if Trump ever was. Mm. He's got his own plane. I, I, I don't know. Well, you know, it's, it's like, like what you said about the box seats at a Leaf game or a baseball yeah. game. If you're there, wouldn't you want to brag about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so I've got a feeling there's a lot of bragging going on about who was on the plane, who was at the farm, who was at the club, who was at the whatever. I could see somebody being innocent, like if a Joe boy like me ended up on the plane because I was carrying Trump's suitcase or something. uh, I can see that actually happening. Hey, man, I was just, you know, just a guy along for the ride. And that's fine. 
Yeah. Uh, that will be proven, I guess, or disproven, or people will be called mm -hmm. to testify or whatever. Yeah, I'm... I just, I'm amazed that there's just not names floating all over the place. Well, here's point. another connection to Epstein. Epstein was caught, I believe, and was going to be charged in 2007. Yes. In Florida. Yes. The guy who was prosecuting and made a, did they call it a plea deal? There's some way that Epstein avoided doing any time for any crime. Mm. And the guy who was in charge of, and I'm not sure he's the AG of Florida at the time, but 2007, he became part of the cabinet of Trump. Really? <laughs> so if you don't see, would you say there's a connection? I can see that there could be, but I cannot prove it. But aren't you glad you don't run in this world? I'm glad I was not privileged. I'm glad. <laughs> no, I seriously am. Because of the temptations? Well, or how you could get suckered in. All of a sudden, you're in this wonderful resort, and everybody else is doing it. What are they going to do to get you to do it? Drug you? Give you an extra amount of drinks? Bring in the most babyish-looking wonderful looking woman in the world i don't know what they would do i mean bobby and i often talk about this you know? aren't we glad that we're not we're not rock stars thank god because i don't know if i could resist the temptations mm -hmm. i might not have three of my you know or, or two of my four sons i might be in a had a divorce mm -hmm. uh, you know or whatever could possibly have taken place when you get drawn into a world of of temptation mm -hmm. uh Bob was telling me one time he saw a video of, of Paul McCartney at a party and he said the most beautiful girl you'd ever want to see in your life was trying to get him to snort cocaine or something and Paul wouldn't do it. But she was, come on, Paul, come on. And Bob said she was just absolutely, unbelievably gorgeous. And so when you got that kind of temptation, you know, it was like Hendrix said, you know, a girl came to his door. She was, well, what could I do? She was just beautiful, you know, so... Sometimes I feel very privileged by not, not being privileged. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's it's privileged on its own. A whole other level of privilege to be not privileged. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which, Oxymorons. Oh, no, I can get sucked into going down that. All right, we were talking about the list and the people on and the Jimmy Kimmel versus Aaron Rodgers, and it, it started with the vaccine, anti-vax. That's still going on, that debate. Here we are in 2024 with enough data and research to say masks make a difference, that vaccines work. And the latest statistic from Health Canada that I saw was to say 70% chance reduction of long COVID if you have at least three injections. So well, play the good. odds. If you're going to play the odds, play them in your favor. May the odds be ever in your favor, to quote <laughs> Hunger Games. Bye-bye for now. Jim and Jerry Show signing off. Bye-bye.